Welcome you all to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to consider how the Pythagoras theory came into existence. So we will consider two square. One is a bigger square and one is a smaller square. So let's, let's consider this to be the smaller square. And since the square have all the size equal, we can represent it by what? Z. So the length of all the sides are equal, so easy. Okay, let's consider this figure to be the bigger square, right? And this, this smaller square is inside, get inside the bigger square, right? So we are going to have it this way. So this uh, smaller square is inside the bigger square, so all is Z. Now, let's represent the length of the bigger square by x plus y, right? Because this, this side is x, y, this side is also x. So, the length of the bigger square is what x plus y. Now, we are going to consider what the area of, of the bigger square. So, the area of the bigger square will be equal to the area of this smaller square plus four times the area of this shape. This shape is a triangle. So the area of the bigger square is equal to the area of the smaller square plus four times the area of the what? The triangle. So area of the bigger square is equal to area of the smaller square plus four times the area of the triangle. And we know that the area of the bigger square will be equal to what? X plus Y. Uh, so the area uh, X plus Y square because the size are equal. The same thing applies to the area of the smaller square. The smaller square, the length of the smaller square is, is Z. And since a square have all the length or this size is equal, the area of the smaller square is what z square. Now, what about the area of a triangle? Of the triangle, the area of a triangle we know is what half base times what height. And now we can see that the base is what x and the height is what y from the figure. Now, the area of the bigger square is what the area of of the smaller square plus four times the area of the triangles, as we already discussed. So the area of the bigger square is what? X plus Y all square. The area of the smaller square is what? Z square plus four times the area of the triangle, which is what? Half X times Y. Now this side we have four here divided by two. We are going to get what two here. From here we, we can expand this bracket as well. So we are going to get X square plus two X Y plus Y square is equal to Z plus two X Y. 2xy is here, 2x is y is here. We subtract 2xy from both sides of the equation. So we are going to get what? z squared is equal to x squared plus y squared. And from here, we know that this side is what? The hypotenuse. Uh, this is the base, this is the height. So we are going to get z squared is equal to x squared plus what? y squared. And this proves what the Pythagoras theory, because with the Pythagoras theory is, a, is the square of the sum, is the square of, of the size and the height, which is equal to what the square of the hypotenuse. So this proves the, hypothesis, uh, the Pythagoras theory. I hope you got it correct and thank you for watching. And always you can subscribe to my YouTube channel for more for more videos. Bye for now.